Hi there, we're going to talk about the spot removal tool in Lightroom. You find the tool just below the histogram. If your histogram is open, we come down here and we have our local adjustment tools. If it is closed up, it's below the word histogram. It's to the right of the crop tool. These are our local adjustments in Lightroom. The crop tool, spot removal, red eye removal, graduated filter, radial filter, and adjustment brush. So we're using the spot removal tool. And we've got clone and heal. And they work similar in that, you you know, if we select an area like this, it's going to throw out um, a targeted area and say, okay, this is what I want that area to look like, okay? And they both do that. Now, clone will, <coughs> excuse me, clone will replicate those pixels exactly, and heal will kind of try and read those pixels and fill in. And sometimes heal works better, sometimes clone works better, it just depends. And so I'm just going to start through, go through and um, heal a few of the blemishes. And see it's throwing out an area way down here. Well, if I have an area, an area that's fairly good near it, I'm going to grab it and move it up to that area. Okay? So I'll say, okay, that's what I want it to look like. That's good. And sometimes you need to zoom in really close to see the blemishes. This is a picture of my sister, and I don't know that she'd want me to zoom in super close. But there are some eyelashes here that I'm going to take care of. And I'm going to make my brush a little smaller with the bracket key on my keyboard. Okay? The bracket key, which is right next to the letter P on my keyboard. And I'll get this one right here. And you have to move it. Sometimes it'll pick really funny areas to want to replicate, and you can just click and drag it around. Now I'm going to work on these wrinkles and just kind of reduce them just a little bit. We don't want it to remove them because, you know, she's a mature woman, and we don't want to make her look like she's had plastic surgery or, um, you know, where she's fake. We want it to look natural. So what I'm going to do with the with these um, wrinkles is I'm going to use the heel, but I'm going to reduce the the opacity so that it, not 100% of it comes through. I'm just going to do like that, and I'm going to reduce that opacity some. I'm going to pick a different area. I don't want it to look like that. Maybe like that. If you notice that I'm making shapes, um, selecting areas that are not perfect circles. In, in older versions of Lightroom, Lightroom 2 and 3, and maybe even 4, I just forget, you can only do a circle. When In Lightroom 5, and possibly 4, because again I forgot <laughs> what wasn't in 4, uh, you can uh, choose any shape. So I could do a circle if I wanted to. See that? And I'm just going to delete it. But you can do different, different uh, select uh, different areas. So see, it's, it's trying to select way over there, and that's not really what I'm going to want. So maybe I want it down here. We'll see. And you can just go through, and my brush needs to be a little smaller, but that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to get this. Whoops. I moved it. It's hard sometimes. Um... I'm trying to select areas on top of areas. Now I'm going to turn them off by clicking this little black box. So before and after. And you notice, see the wrinkles are reduced. Look at the, the wrinkle area. There's before. There's after, but it's not super noticeable. You don't look at it and think, oh, she needs, you know, that's too much or, you know, too much Photoshop or, you know, you don't look at it and think that. So it's, it's tasteful and it's um, in moderation and that's what you need to remember. So there's how to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom.